Hey now, I'm Kenya. I'm a twin. I love to watch with my twin. And this is my reaction to the What If trailer and the new Rockstars breakdown. Yeah, peace. I love peace. I'd be out of a job oh, with peace. Starting with Iron Man. Okay, that's familiar. That is not. <gasps> is that Killmonger? Do what we the? know each other? Oh my god. Time. Dr. Strange. It's changeable. Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy. <gasps> oh my god! Every universe. Loki! Each one. Now it's a dust. Slow down a little bit. There's a few people in the room that don't understand. Not me. I, I get it. <laughs> I love this animation style. Uh, okay, we see Agent Carter as Captain America. Meeting Dr. Captain Strange. Carter. Captain, Captain Carter. Okay. I am the watcher. I observe all that transpires here. Wow, but wow, I cannot, wow. Cannot, will not interfere. I guess I have to freestyle then. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. A ravager never flies solo. I said never flies solo. Uh, is that some kind of catchphrase? <laughs> Yandu! You had me worried for a second. Journey to face the unknown and ponder the question. It's like supposed to be. What would happen if the multiverse was screwed up enough? August 11th, okay. What if? Wow. That was wow. Um, it's a lot to unpack. So what we're gonna do is move right into the new Rockstars breakdown of this. What's poppin' Rockstars? My name is MT, and Yay, the newest trailer MT. for Marvel's What If series has dropped harder than I was as a baby. Yes. Giving us MCU lovers a new look into one of the most interesting MCU projects that I've been waiting to see for the longest time. Like, I've been wanting Marvel to make this show for I'm forever. so happy he's now, doing it. If you think that Marvel's What If is just going to be another Marvel TV show, like the ones that they show hanging out with Phineas and Ferb on the Disney Man channel, no. uh, what if I told you that you were dead ass wrong? What if is a Marvel <laughs> Studios project? Meaning yes. that the things that Jeffrey Wright's Watcher will show us during the show are actual canonical events that have actually happened within the MCU. So Jeffrey Wright is playing the And Watcher. that these crazy flip-flop events in the show will most likely tie into the plot of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness I coming up like hardcore. So this show is just as significant as your WandaVisions or your Loki's. Okay. So that all being the case, let us all hop into the Multiverse Madness that is this new trailer, my nerd babies. <laughs> Yeah, peace. I love peace. I'd be out of a job with peace. <laughs> Do we know each other? And right off the bat, this trailer starts us off the oh, same way the entire Marvel Cinematic Iron Universe Man, started, with the moment kidnapped. this military convoy carrying Tony Stark is attacked by terrorism. But more specifically, this trailer opens the exact way Iron Man 1 does, with this wide shot of Tony's military escort being recreated in animated yeah. form. Actually, a lot of these shots from this part of the Probably trailer just, were framed exactly yeah. the way they happened in the animated movie, over which serves as a really nice it. contrast for when Tony Stark is rescued by would-be king of Wakanda, Eric Kimmonger himself. So, you know, he can go home and see Pepper rather than stand here But how does he Pepper become Iron Man if he doesn't so, get kidnapped? So, if we're out here using Loki terms, Kimmonger chucking that bomb was the nexus event that caused this timeline to branch into a what if Killmonger oh, saved Tony's yeah, from the Ten sense. Rings timeline that I'm so hyped to see because these two men mega dead in our timeline so yeah. it's really good to see them again because good god have I well, missed them. Anyways, is Killmonger going to come back for time. Wakanda forever? Reality. Reality. It's changeable. 
So the Guardians of the Galaxy. And next up, we see that seal of quality are that the ones is the Marvel that are Studios fighting logo. That is, of course, a staple of every Marvel trailer. But behind this logo, this time around, we can see the Watcher with his eyes glowing in our direction, sort of suggesting that he could be watching even our reality as well as yeah. we watch oh. the various realities of the show, which is yeah. a major fourth wall breaking concept wow. that I really hope that they explore in this show. <laughs> but more importantly, we have a voiceover of Tilda Swinton's The Ancient One stating how time and reality are changing before the trailer symbolically demonstrates this by intercutting footage of an animated version of the iconic Avengers 1 team camera pan with a new team that seems to be the Avengers of the multiverse, a team composed of T'Challa as Star-Lord, a Gamora decked out in that new Thanos collection from Nike, a version of Black Panther that could be Killmonger, I'm not really sure there, as well as a version of Thor that recent merchandise leaks have revealed to be a character called Party, party Thor. Thor. Now, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> MT! Oh Didn't we already God. see a Party Thor in Endgame? Like, you yeah. know, he was drinking and having fun just with his friends? No, no that was that the was dude Thor. Xbox Live Party Thor. That was Thor Regular the dude. Regular Party Thor is believed to be a Thor from a timeline when Thor goes to Midgard, but doesn't exactly learn the lessons and responsibility that he learns in Thor 1. It's a big difference there. Party Thor is what my friends did in college, and depressed Xbox Live Party Thor is what they're doing with Loki right, right now, college. so this is... The real loser. But that moment in the trailer cool. happens after we see Doctor Strange use the Time Stone to presumably send him back in time to his pre-accident days and is surrounded by these interesting looking runes that sort of oh, look like the runes so this is him making the selfish one, choice. Which is really interesting to me and could actually end up tying into Doctor Strange 2. Moving on. Where you wanna be? That's the question. That's so fucking sick. Every universe is different. Then the trailer continues with a shot of T'Challa Lord flying over the collector's episode of Quarters, then cutting to T'Challa entering the Power Stone Temple room of Morag instead of Peter Quill like we get in Guardians of the Galaxy. And then we get the shot of Yondu mentoring T'Challa, implying that Yondu's relationship with T'Challa as he grew up was vastly different than that of Peter Quill's upbringing with him. Okay, that's like These cool. two actually I'm seem like it. an actual in-sync space pirate duo, with them even working together later on this trailer to beat Tantalier's ass. Sorry, buddy. Should have collected Instead, bitch. And then we have what appears to be Bruce Banner changing to the Hulk in front of a Black Widow, dressed like she's undercover at a government facility or something, which is really intriguing. Because okay. it seems that these two are at odds here, considering that Bruce is changing into the Hulk, seemingly as a result to her presence. So maybe this is a universe where Black Widow never joined S.H.I.E.L.D. and she's trying to steal the secrets of the Super Soldier program from General Ross. And then we can it's see a very Hulk specific and Party theory. Thor fighting a bunch of Ultron bots, seemingly in two separate locations, with Party Thor seemingly fighting his bots in the city of of sin of Las Vegas, which is a stark contrast to the holy city of Asgard, suggesting that many of Party Thor's Asgardian themed rangers may have taken place here, and Chris Angel probably showed up and blew <laughs> Thor's mind with his dark wizardry. Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> now, anyways, we also get this glimpse of Loki facing off against Nick Fury and Shield with the full complement of the Asgardian army at his side, ready to mother freaking roll, son. Interesting. Which makes you think that because Thor never learned how to be responsible on Earth in Loki this timeline, was Loki came. was easily able able to take over Asgard yep. during those events of Thor 1. As we can see later on in this trailer, him using the casket of ancient winners to freeze a bunch of people. Slow down a little bit. There's a few people in the room that don't understand. Not me. I, I... Who are you? Captain and then we are formally introduced to Captain Carter, a version of Peggy Which Carter is, who got thing, that good, good Erskine shit and none of that Walmart nonsense that Peggy's grandniece was peddling on Magic War, you know what I'm saying? But in particular, <laughs> this shot of her landing with the sword is super interesting to me because it looks like she just sliced off the tentacles of one of these weird squid-like creatures from later on in the trailer that very much resemble the Abolisk from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And I have a really good feeling that these squid-like creatures are the many angled ones of the Marvel Multiverse and will wow. probably be linked to that big old tentacled eyeball that is Shuma Gorath, who was rumored to wow. be of Madness. See, it but anyways, pays to yeah, know what goes Captain on Carter in the comics. run-in with a dark version of Doctor Strange, who seems to have lost his way, because when this version of Doctor Strange shoots out those dang evil wizard brains from his hands next to a woman that I'm assuming is Christine Palmer, you can see some dark particles whizzing around his phalanges, his magical phalanges. <laughs> Maybe these dark particles suggest that he could have gotten tempted by that sweet, sexy, dark dimension magic from Dormammu. And I hear that once you go black, you know. Bruh. You know. Bruh. Just kidding, my ex left me Bruh. quite quickly. <laughs> Moving on. I am the Watcher. I observe all that transpires. 
Here. You get this really interesting shot of this hooded figure in a strange world, and this is, of course, Janet Van Dyne inside oh, of the Quantum Realm. Of course, but that's who it that looks is. like a zombie is. Janet instead of the beautiful unzombified Michelle Pfeiffer. I mean, I'm not even sure how a zombie Janet gets to the Quantum Realm on her own, but this could be a scenario where uh, the zombie outbreak starts with a Janet Van Dyne mom. after she is saved by Hank. Like Hank picks her up and he's like, "Oh, you look kind of different, but..." Hey, it's my wife. So, <laughs> only matrimony, and then she bites him. It's like, hooray for zombie matrimony. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of weird creatures within the quantum realm, so maybe one of them is some type of zombie virus. Try and then later, the we have our boy, Peter Parker, shooting webs at an off-screen target, a target implied to be Scarlet Witch herself. Mostly because this shot implied? of Scarlet Witch later on shows her repulsing okay. away Okoye's spear, but also Peter Parker's webs. Okay. So this could be our very first look at Avengers from another universe trying to contain our Wanda while she goes proper multiverse mad. But then, towards the end yeah, of the trailer, we get a all ton all of all of this is going to come together. But I do not, cannot, will not interfere. Why are you watching me? If you're not going to interfere, bro. that stood out to me most were this shot of Pepper Potts and Sherry playing SWAT FBI open up! <laughs> with the Dora Milaje, an older version of Ego the Living Planet using his powers on Earth implying that he did return, Scott Lang without a freaking body, wow. Natasha on a bike dodging blaster fire from Ultron bots in a post-apocalyptic Age of Ultron type world I'm assuming, and this very same Natasha throwing Red Guardian shield and since it's only been a few weeks since the last time we saw Vision die, have another one with Vision <laughs> oh. attempting to pluck out the Mind Stone from his own head. Marvel, Kevin, please, we would all be very Domo Arigato <laughs> if you would just give Mr. Roboto a goddamn break. What? Please, what if you didn't? <laughs> what if, Marvel? My heart can't take it anymore. He's definitely just as funny <laughs> as And then finally, we get this Eric very Boss. humorous moment of T'Challa, voiced by the late King Chadwick himself. A Ravager never flies solo. Oh, Chadwick. I said never flies solo. Uh, is that some kind of catchphrase? I think he got to do something fun. <laughs> I wasn't I'm physically wearing, demanding. Classic. Walking out of the Morag Temple with Korath the Pursuer on his back, which suggests to me that T'Challa's years as a Ravager did not remove an ounce of this man's innate compassion. Because much like he spared Zemo's life in Civil War, he decided to spare Korath's life. Because that's just who he is. So R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman, we miss you very much. I and do. you have inspired you. all of us to be... I don't know what we're going to do about one. Very much look forward to seeing your final performance in What If? But yeah, that is it for my breakdown of Marvel's new What If trailer. What scenario are you most excited for? Is it What If Killmonger saved Tony Stark? Or What If Marvel Zombies took over the MCU? Let us know below, my nerd babies. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this I, video. You I can follow me baby. at Mastertainment on Twitter or Instagram. So that was the What If trailer and the new Rock stars breakdown i'm so happy that mt was the one who broke it down for us he's hilarious i suggest you go everybody and their mama subscribe to new rock stars so you probably already watched the channel but you know it's just really cool to see him flying solo like this um yeah i that was a lot that was a lot to take in it usually is i'm i'm really excited i'm excited to see killmonger and iron man i'm excited to see uh t'challa and yandu oh my god i'm excited to see captain carter this is gonna be oh of course i'm excited to see loki you know commanding an army and the casket of winter so this is gonna be really interesting i'm i'm, I'm very excited for this series i uh, hope you guys are too let us know in the comments down below what you think what are your predictions what are your theories you know what are you the most excited about when it finally premieres on disney plus we'll see you next time